We learned about the artist Marc Chagall. <clears throat> Today we start with our name and our teacher's initial on the bottom corner in pencil. Then I sketch an X going from corner <clears throat> to corner of my paper. In this section, I'm going to draw a person. I start with the forehead. You can do that now. Then I do the nose and the nostril. If you don't like something, it's okay to go back and erase it. We all make mistakes and that's how we learn. Under the nose is a little line. Then we have two bumps for the mouth and the chin. Next is the neck and the chest. If yours looks different, that's great. We all draw differently. To finish the mouth, I can connect the two lines. I'll add an eye. I'm drawing dark so you can see, but you'll draw softly. Feel free to add eyelashes, eyebrows, hair, maybe a hat, maybe glasses, whoops, a shirt, a necklace, or jewelry. Remember, this is your artwork, so you make the person's profile how you like. Take some time to do this. In this section, across from the person, I'm going to draw an animal. You can draw one from your imagination, or you can use a drawing book. Remember, drawing books teach us how to draw. I think I'll do this picture of the shark. I keep my paper to the side. I never trace because the drawing book teaches me the steps. You can always create some of your own steps too. Like maybe I'll add more teeth. Maybe I'll add more shark fins. Maybe I'll make it different or add a baby shark or another shark. Take some time to draw the animals you like. When you're done with your animal, in the top triangle, we're going to draw what the human is dreaming or thinking about. In the bottom triangle, we're going to draw what the animal is thinking or dreaming about. Surrealist art is all about dreams. When you're done drawing, you can trace with a black Sharpie or with a black crayon. After we trace, we erase our pencil marks so our artwork is neat.